Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Habita fillah A question was asked or not question but a comment was posed and I thought I would address this uh, Someone said your last name Green should be changed It seems you're a convert to Deen That's the first step you should be taking Get rid of your meaningless name to Ahlus Sunnah Full Tawheed Muslimin names And I just wanted to mention that that statement is bottom. It's a basic, <laughs> a complete false premise. And it shows the problem, the problem we have, especially a lot of youth and others, is they speak on total ignorance. Men sabaka bihadako, who, who preceded you in a statement like this to say that you have to change your name and that you have to change your father's name when Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that that's muharram, it's impermissible to change your father's name, that that's a very severe sin. But you said it's okay. You said I need a, a Ahlus Sunnah, a, a Tawheed name. What are you talking about? So it's very important for our brothers and sisters to to atlab al seek knowledge before you speak. Imam uh, Bukhari he had a title and it was a, a chapter titled Al Alm Qabla Al Qawli Wal Amal. Knowledge precedes actions and statements. What the people practice when people make fatwa like this? Because you made a fatwa. If you if you if this person ever hears this, that they made a fatwa. Basically saying that it's Muharram. So they let their mouth, a saying, proceed Ilm. But rather, Imam Bukhari mentioned, Rahmatullah we all know who Imam Bukhari is from our Salaf. Imam Bukhari, who we can't do without as far as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala placed him as a preserver of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's religion and a preserver of the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam he said to, 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 to gain knowledge knowledge before speaking and actions and that's what the evidence of the Quran and sunnah shows us so we see that the sahaba did not all rush most of them did not change their names like that they didn't change their names, as you have alleged that that's an obligation to do, and that that's something important to do. We, we don't see that. Who preceded you in this statement? And this is why, when we look at, we see some of the contemporary uh, brothers who have studied, some of the Tulab al -am, some of them, they've went back to their prior name. Instead of living a double name, they go back to their, the names they were given by their mothers and fathers, because there's no sin in that. There's no harm. I know several students of knowledge, some of them, you know, very high graduates in, in, in the Islamic University and very strong in fiqh, so they know this mas'ala. One of them in particular, I'll mention his name, Joe Bradford, and uh, he's well known for his fiqh, and he even asked one of the mashayikh, or the conversation came up when he was in Riyadh and said, you know, the, you know, because he used to go by his uh, another name, an Islamic name, meaning an Arabic name or a name from the Quran. And he, the Sheikh said, why, you know, basically, why are you having these two names? There's no problem with going back to the name that you, you had. There's no, it's not, as long as there's no sinfulness in its meaning or anything like this, there's no aib, there's no reason to change it. You don't have to change it. So that's why you have the brother, the Imam Nick, uh, I can't think of his name, Nick a brother in California, and many others. And that's their choice. No harm. I prefer Khalid. I'm used to, I'm Khalid. And even my mother respects me and addresses me by Khalid. And so, that's a choice. But when you make these fatawa, based on your concept of Awalaw al Bara, your concept, not the Book of Allah, not the Son of the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi not the Minaj of the Salaf, then you can get in trouble. So be careful and study. This is much better for you. You know, if if you in kuntum sadiqin, if you're truthful, and if you want to come closer to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam.